This woman attacked and severely bitten by a dog. This former prima ballerina laid up with a torn hamstring after a dance. This lady slipped in a bar and ended up with her leg in a cast. All will tell you injuries can heal, but the pain can go on and on. I'm not talking about pain that feels like we're aching. I'm talking about pain that feels like we've been doused with gasoline and lit on fire. Severe pain that travels from limb to limb and is often misdiagnosed. This whole experience made me feel like a battered woman. Um, because I wasn't taken seriously, my pain wasn't taken seriously. There, it's hurting. If you've got pain out of proportion to the injury, for which you've got no proven diagnosis, then assume it's RSD to prove otherwise. Dr. Edward Carden is a pioneer in the field of pain management. He says all these women suffer from complex regional pain syndrome, known as CRIPS, also called RSD. The biggest problem is that the majority of doctors really don't know how to diagnose it. Millions of Americans suffer from CRIPS, a syndrome that follows an injury sometimes years later. And patients say being dismissed by doctors makes CRIPS even worse. The doctors who disbelieve us stain our psyche so profoundly that we never fully recover. Cynthia Toussaint has become the poster woman for pain. She hosts the annual Women in Pain Conference and her foundation, For Grace, unites women from around the world. It was 27 years ago when the dancer ripped up her hamstring, but after her injury healed, pain became her constant companion. I thought about suicide for about 25 years now. After 13 years of being misdiagnosed, she learned she had CRIPS. Once I did get diagnosed, I found out that I didn't even have a rare disease. Many CRIPS sufferers are told it's all in their head. I had one doctor who told me that he wouldn't even see me without me having a psych evaluation. A dog attack left Brandy Kim in a world of hurt. I went to so many different doctors and they said um, there's nothing they can do. And four years after a car crash, Kelly Knight's pain continues to spread. It went from a hurt ankle to a hurt leg that spread up to a hurt arm. That was more painful than I could have ever imagined. They would say that I was in my head. They would say that I was just a hypochondriac. Even at this day, the majority of doctors out there do not understand that the correct way to diagnose and treat this disease. Dr. Carden says the irony is the test to determine CRIPS is actually simple. He says if a patient has CRIPS, a local anesthetic injection to block certain nerves has an immediate effect. Injecting. If it's not CRIPS, it's not immediate. And the sooner it's done, the better the chance of full recovery. No. Here's Kelly Knight before one of those injections. Afterwards, she's able to kick and jump. Mindy Myers says when she found Dr. Carden, she found hope. It was literally a come to Jesus moment. Hold on. Dr. Carden treats patients from around the world, including this Danish woman injured in a go-kart accident. His advice, go to a pain management specialist for proper diagnosis. Work with a specialist to get anesthesia, nerve blocks, and physiotherapy before considering surgery. And remember, the longer the pain goes untreated, the more likely it will increase, making a short-term cure less likely. You've got to get the word out to the doctors that get to see them. Thank you. When we get help, we do get better. So that's the hope that we all need to hold on to, is that we do get better. There is no conclusive explanation on why pain affects women more than men. One of the women seen tonight was so severely misdiagnosed, she was told she needed a double amputation before getting a proper diagnosis. Cynthia Dussant says those suffering from chronic pain should always bring a witness to doctor's visits and should never hesitate to ask to see a pain specialist. To learn more about CRIPS and the work of Dr. Carden, go to our website. We have it there for you, myfoxla.com.